Thank all of you for all of your requests recently for more information, but I thank even more the ones who have given me more answers. And what we are doing now, this is a quest to get information we do not have, not making claims. We are reading the claims, but we need to examine the claims. We cannot go around and believing whatever we are reading. Now, I'm looking at studies that show blood type O being less frequent for SARS, and SARS is a coronavirus. I also see blood type O not being frequent among the victims of other viral infections, and most of all, people who are Rh negative, uh, not showing up in high numbers or not showing up at all in the uh, data of patients. And um, immunity and resistance are two different things. So, for example, if people who are Rh negative have resistance to HIV, or there is a certain fairly high percentage of Rh negatives that have actually immunity to HIV, that doesn't mean you can rely on that. Freddie Mercury was B negative, he died of HIV. So, if there's resistance, enough exposure will still get you. You can still get the flu, even though Rh negatives are less likely to get it. But there is a difference, a big difference in the blood type frequencies among the patients of viral infections, generally speaking. That's something that we need to look at. And we need to understand also why. So, thank you guys for all of your information. Keep bringing it my way. And, um, I'll see you later. My website is risknegative.net. I will post more information as I get it.